Hello everyone. Welcome to my vlog, Inspiring Bo. Today is a gorgeous day outside. I'm so happy spring is finally around the corner. And uh, I'm also happy today because I'm going to be interviewing Christine. Hi. Christine, thanks for uh, taking the time out to be with us today. Uh, Christine has a cerebral palsy and she's had a lot of challenges with it. And uh, I wanted to interview her and uh, she also wanted to be, to be with me today so that we can help other people, inspire them to meet their dreams and also if somebody has cerebral palsy, how they can cope with it. So I want to welcome everyone and uh, thanks again, Christine, Thank for joining you. us. So Christine, you tell me that you have cerebral palsy. Yes. So can you tell us what some of the symptoms you, you have with cerebral palsy and sure. when did you find out that you had it? I was diagnosed at an early age, at three years old. Three years old, okay. And um, my mom and my aunts noticed that my one leg was like a little longer than the other, and I was like tiptoeing. So um, they brought, they actually brought, diagnosed me in the Philippines because okay. at first in Canada they brought me to doctors and they didn't know. The, um, they said that I didn't have anything wrong with me, but when I went to the Philippines, um, my uncle was the one who diagnosed me as oh. having cerebral palsy. Was your was your uncle a doctor? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, so besides having one leg longer than the other, which, what other symptoms did you have? Um, I walked, um, before the operations, I walked with um, my, my thighs together. Mm -hmm. So like, I kind of walking like scissors, you know, with um, my legs before the operations, after the operations, I could walk, um, they separated my thighs and um, they they helped me walk without crutches. So you didn't, they were, your thighs were joined together, they were just... Uh, no, they were just, yeah. <clears throat> um, Too close together. Yes. To help you to walk comfortably. Mm -hmm. And um, I also have, like my balance is off, so I need, I use a cane. Uh, when I was younger, I used two crutches. Oh, okay. So what are your symptoms now? Now I, um, I just, just, I don't have good balance. That's oh, okay. It. Okay. So, but, but otherwise you're able to do your daily uh, yes. activities of living. Okay. Definitely. Without well, any like problems. Me, yeah, for sure. I can't sit on the floor. Oh, you can't sit on the floor. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Is that because of the balance issue? Yes. Oh, well, like okay. I can't sit up straight without support. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah, if I were to sit, sit down on the ground, I would have to sit back on mm -hmm. the couch just for support. So is that the, the main challenge that you have now? Um, yes, especially having two kids. You have so. two children. So this is also something that's very amazing <laughs> because uh, Christine has two children despite the challenges of having a cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us like, how did you get inspired to fulfill your dream of having children? I've you always, didn't let uh, yeah. cerebral palsy no. stop you. Um, when I was young, all I wanted was kids. Mm -hmm. I have many nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making emotional. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And all I wanted was to have my own my own kids, like I treated my nieces, sorry, <laughs> and nephews as my own. So um, I didn't know for sure if mm -hmm. I would I'd be able to have children, but um, I was able to have a miracle, which was Dawson. And, um, and then um, because I have polycystic ovaries, I didn't know I could have children, um, but my miracle came. Um, when he was born and then um, it didn't stop me <laughs> so now I have Christopher and um, I've, I've just always I work with kids I love children and nothing stopped me to become a mother <laughs> so wow <laughs> so what support systems do you have in place in to place. take care of your children um, there's a, a lot of support that I have from the government. The government, uh, they provide um, services from this place called VHA. They come over to help me with uh, showering or, um, and they, they provided nurses at first for the first six, week, six to eight weeks. And what is VHA? VHA is, um, <clears throat> it's a, 
it's one of the services that I have um, that nurse, a it's community. a nursing service. Yes, it's oh. a community service that help out with um, women who've had C-sections. Oh, okay. So they mm -hmm. come over, um, they take care of the baby. Um, if I need to go, like it, they they were really helpful because I I had to bring bring Dawson to daycare, so they were here with Christopher while I went. Um, to bring him to daycare, but when Dawson was born, they were they were so helpful too because it was my first time oh, having okay. a baby. Mm -hmm. So they taught me how to bathe him, how to um, just um, they took care of him whenever I needed sleep. So oh, wow, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, and you're also working, right? Yes. You have two children and you're working. Mm -hmm. And and what are the ages of your children? Um, the eldest son is three years old, yeah. and uh, um, Christopher is five months old. Oh, wow. So now I'm on maternity leave. Oh, yeah, maternity leave. I'm, okay. I'm going to go back to the work in September. Okay. What, and what do you do? I work with children with special needs. Oh, great. So I'm an educational assistant. So you have way more empathy because yes. having the, your own challenges, you're <laughs> able to deal with other people as well. Yes. Yeah. Especially with their parents. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm sure you're much more like supportive and yes. empathic with with mm -hmm. families For because sure. of your own things that you've had to face yourself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like what, even when I was young, um, <clears throat> I didn't know what I wanted to be, and um, I, all I knew was I wanted to work with children. Oh, okay. So one one time I was performing. Um, Performing? I was, yeah, I, I like to sing. So oh, wow. I was in um, Charlotte's Web. And then one one time when I was performing, the kids came over to see um, Charlotte's Web. And this one kid with cerebral palsy came up to oh. me and he said, uh, like, I was his hero. I was like, wow. really touched. And then so I knew that for sure I wanted to work with children. And then working with children with special needs just adds more. Right. Like, um like i feel i feel blessed to yes. to work with them mm -hmm. yeah what challenges do you face now cuz i you said you can't bend over or you can't sit on the floor yes um there are, there are a lot of challenges being uh, a mother of two like my <laughs> eldest son he runs so i think i mean thank god he he hasn't run away from me <laughs> But, but because he notices, like he's very empathetic too, to know oh, wow. that I won't run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I can't run after okay, him. Okay. So he, he, like, if he notices that I'm I'm far behind, he will wait. Oh, you know, it's like wow. I'm waiting for you, mommy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And um, but I mean, there are challenges. Like he he knows that oh, I'll take a while. A while. If he gets, gets in trouble, he knows that it will take me longer to get to him than to other people. Other people. <laughs> so it sounds like to me that your son is uh, maturing much yes, faster definitely. than other children yes. his age. And, a pro and, and I'm guessing he's an empath. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at a very been, young age. Yeah. Yes, um, he's gonna be maturing very fast. When I was pregnant with Christopher, I fell and he was like mommy can i help you and wow. like yeah wow. and uh, like i was so scared he'd run off because yeah. <laughs> i fell right so but instead yeah. he, he he knows where the love is <laughs> definitely oh my goodness and the way yeah. the connection is yeah he's so lovable yeah wow, wow that's beautiful thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah another issue is like wheel trans i take wheel trans uh -huh. for transportation uh -huh. and um they uh, they usually give me rides from the my place to the daycare and then back home. But because I'm not working, they said that they they're not able to give me rides oh. to um, uh, like continuous rides. So I have to I have to either go with Christopher and Dawson um, in the wheelchair ride and then bring want them home on like regular bus oh no. so yeah so my mom actually has been helping me a lot because i can't i can't bring both of them especially when it was winter i couldn't bring christopher out oh. in the in the winter time yeah. like it was just he was so little so um i had to either get have my mom take care of christopher while i go 
or she now she brings my my top my topper to daycare but sometimes it's very challenging for her because sometimes he doesn't listen to her <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he listens to me more <laughs> yeah yeah so it, it's wow. hard yeah so um is this a, a, a dream you had a dream of having children for a long time and you're really happy yes. to have them. So other people who are facing challenges, what advice would you give them? Um, Whether it's with cerebral palsy or any other problems that they might have. Um, I would I would just mention that like every day that um, I feel like life is challenging, I do, I, I like I, I stop and I, I do believe that I am blessed like I love, sorry, I love my children. Yes, yes. And um, I guess that's the only thing keeping me going because mm -hmm. like even when I think that, oh my goodness, this is so challenging. Um, I still, I still feel blessed and I need to um, appreciate the fact that I have children. So I, w I would give any mothers out there, no, I know it's hard, but like, you were blessed with children. Some people don't yes, have the opportunity. Some people have uh, no disabilities yeah, exactly. and they want children and they've never had them. For sure. Yes. Definitely. Yes. So um, I would just say never give up on your dreams and um, don't let anyone tell you <laughs> um, that you can't do it. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's amazing. And you know, you're bringing up two children. Uh, who will contribute for the betterment of the world? I mean, <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, when you talk about your, your you know, your oldest one, uh, he's yeah. already very sensitive and caring. Yeah. So I he mean, will, you know, contribute to the world in a very positive way. For sure. <laughs> I mean, and we I, all do. <laughs> I know that it's it's challenging physically. Yes. But all all I know is that I could provide so much love to yes. my boys, and that, yes. that's what that's what's important. Yes, and 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 we we know there are a lot of children who are raised without sufficient love, or yes. you know, or no love because of the problems that parents, their parents are faced. Definitely. Yes. So yeah, we really need a lot of a lot of love. Yeah. And do you have a special like lifestyle with your with with uh, your disability? Do you have uh, a special diet or an exercise program to keep keep you going? <laughs> No, I, I could pretend I have a exercise <laughs> program. No, um, I also have diabetes. So oh, okay. I, um, during pregnancy, uh, like uh, I had to take insulin. So I, I don't really, I don't really have a special diet. Yes. Um, yeah. But I know that I'm very active already, like <laughs> chasing the boys or like. Um, just holding even Christopher is like 15 pounds uh -huh. so so he's my workout <laughs> so, <laughs> well yeah you know what I, I heard Arnold Schwarzenegger say a long time ago that actually women are in better shape than men because they have to carry their children around it's true. and it's like like a cardio workout yes you know because they're heavy as they get older <laughs> they're <a> very <bit>, especially mine <laughs> it's like weightlifting <laughs> yeah it is um when uh, Dawson was a baby I used to um I used to work out with him like I would I would do kind of like crunches with him or not crunches um uh what are those things <laughs> sorry um those are you talking about stomach exercises yeah I would just hold him and then I would go up and down oh, squats yes yeah, squats <laughs> So, so squats with him. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. like, and he would love it as I watch like music videos uh -huh. that are like fitness, fitness martial. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> fitness yeah, Marshall. fitness martial is great because okay. he has music. Okay. And then like I just dance with it. Pretty okay. Much just like dancing. Is that a, is that a YouTube a yes. YouTube uh, uh, fitness YouTube program? Channel. Yes. Channel. Oh, okay. Look it up. And he's amazing. Oh, sounds interesting. <laughs> 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 and uh, now, do you go for daily walks or anything like that? Um, no, <laughs> uh, not. I I know I want to go out for walks. Uh, just the weather hasn't been good until yes, now. Yes. So, yeah. So, um, but I've been bringing uh, Christopher out whenever, whenever I can to bring him to daycare uh, to with Dawson. Oh, okay. So I'll drop him off sometimes. Um, 
and if like my mom's not available then I'll then I'll bring him back on the subway which mm -hmm. I've been doing um if I I'll go to mall with Christopher and and walk around the mall oh that's great yeah, thank you <laughs> yeah yeah, because uh, I'm a, I'm into fitness, you yeah. know, and uh, fitness is one of the, it's uh, it's something that you know is very very important to keep up, you know, so that you can live your life fully. Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> uh, you have more energy and you're more fit, and yes. uh, so that's why I asked about the lifestyle. So, what about your diabetes? Like, uh, are you taking medications for that? Yes, um, <clears throat> I take metformin, mm -hmm. and um, like recently my my doctor who has been monitoring me during pregnancy has told me that there's this injection that I could inject myself once a week. Oh, once a week. Uh, yeah. Wow. And it will help me with my blood sugars. So. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Once a week. So you don't have to take pills every day or, or inject oh, yourself I still, every day. I still have to take oh, okay, pills, okay. But, <laughs> but I don't have to inject myself every day. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're still on insulin. Oh, no. No. Uh, no. I, you I were when you during, during the pregnancy. pregnancy. Yes. 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 So okay. I have. I, I've been taking pills just to regulate my sugar. Okay. Uh, what dreams do you have for the future? And um, uh, do you let your, you know, your diagnosis stop you with that? Or I, 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 I'm imagining you wouldn't. <laughs> no. I don't. Actually, um, even even my job, um, I worked with children. Like at, at first when I got my job, I worked with kindergarten, uh -huh. kindergarten class, uh -huh. and um, that was difficult to show people that I could do it. Um, so um, it kept on, but I kept on with my dreams, working with children. Um, I also love to sing. So um, I just sing at church every weekend. Wow. <laughs> and um, I do love pursuing just even singing and um, uh, for God or, or and like, um, but it, like in the future, I did before pregnancy, I wanted to join wheelchair basketball so oh, wow. i know <laughs> and it was always my dream so to do uh, to, wheel, to do wheelchair basketball yes. wow yeah. are you still gonna do it i, I really do want to do it and then I, when i wanted to do it again christopher was oh okay I can see, okay so. <laughs> so i couldn't do it well you but, still have the future yes in, uh, i'm definitely going in front of you my dreams <laughs> yeah. to do your wheelchair yes and also for you being a singer yes do you want to sing anywhere else besides in the church? Um, well, I I have written a book about cerebral palsy, like it's a children's book. Oh wow! Book. Okay. So I do want to uh, pursue that dream to, um, and then at the end of the book, write a song. Oh wow! You've yeah. already written it. Has it been I've published? Written, oh no! Not okay. Double, so <laughs> You're that's in the another dream. Of it? <laughs> oh, I finished writing the the book. Wow! But now okay. I just have to write the song and then try to publish. Oh wow! It. That's amazing. Thank you. So this song, are you you're gonna write the song yourself? Yes. I, I play piano, so oh, wow. uh, okay. I'm going to try to <laughs> make it up. That's impressive Thank you. that you are doing so many things Thank and you. you're not letting uh, your physical disability come in the way yes. of your dreams. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people don't have disabilities yeah. and uh, they start thinking uh, immediately about the obstacles in their mm -hmm. way. What would you say to them? Um, <laughs> I've always actually... I think it has a lot to do with my family. My family always treated me like I didn't have a disability, so I was blessed that way. Okay, so I yes. would ever, I would always tell people, never give up. Like, don't even think about the obstacles because um, they will stop you. Mm -hmm. You know. So um, I just kind of try to think about going for that goal and always accomplishing that with like trying to get take out the obstacles. So you just focus on where you want to go. Yeah, you and I get it. <laughs> and you get it. <laughs> She's got the magic formula. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't like giving up. Yeah. <laughs> My mom knows. Oh, okay, yeah. so that, that's another key secret. Yeah. Never give up. Yeah, definitely. Never give up for what you want yes. in life. Yeah. And uh, a lot of us do, you know, now we're having a, well, we live in a very challenging world, not do we only have like everyday issues uh, that we always had, but now we have this world situation. How was that for you? 
Oh, um, it, it was hard, especially because I was going through postpartum. So like oh. the lockdowns yes, drove me yes, nuts. Yes. Uh, it, it made me more depressed. Yeah. So um, thank goodness um, they're, uh, they're lifting up the masks. They're, um, you know, now we could go out and, um, but it was especially hard for my, me and my family. My family's so big. And so we had to not see each other when the numbers were like, you had to um, have like 10 people. That's not my family. Like mm -hmm. there's more than 10 people. So <laughs> yes. we had to separate ourselves. Uh, and then, yes. So it was really hard on me because I'm a family person. Like I love my family and yes. I always want to be around them. But during this pandemic, like I couldn't see them. I, you know, I, I like we missed out on so many <laughs> sorry <Yes. laughs> celebrations. How did you cope with your depression? Um, I I talked to many therapists about it. Um, on on Zoom, on Zoom or phone call. Mm -hmm. Um, Sunnybrook has helped me a lot. I feel I find that they helped me um, psychologically too. Mm -hmm. After like you would think that right after I had a baby. They wouldn't care, but mm -hmm. no, they, they kept on, um, they made sure that I had support after mm -hmm. I, I, I had the baby because they knew I always, I always, I already had mild depression and then postpartum made me <laughs> like, um, kind of more depressed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Point. Especially it's staying hard. in. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, um, so many factors that would actually make the depression worse for sure so all the restrictions the mandates mm -hmm. and uh your hormones yes. and uh yeah uh very challenging yeah we've actually, gone through very challenging times for sure i even on lockdown um i was pregnant with christopher and then i had to take care of my son um and i was online teaching them so it, oh. like my son knew how to have a temper tantrum and i'd be like teaching i'd be like um, they're like, Miss Al, what's happening? <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, hold on. You know, my son is having a temper tantrum, you know? It was hard to teach them. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, but oh, we survived. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, you know, I personally don't know how people sat behind a computer to do yeah. schoolwork or exactly. I don't know I can't pretend that I'm you know having socializing with people on zoom yes. I, I just can't get Definitely. into it I can't get into it I really feel felt bad for the children yes you know what I mean? yes especially um, those you need that social affected. connection yeah you need the social connection and and uh, masks well you know, 80% of uh, communication is uh, nonverbal, so mm -hmm. that, that's another challenge as, yes, as well. Definitely. So, uh, are you going to go for outside today? It's like oh, yes. uh, uh, definitely. 12 degrees. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> so <sunny>. excited. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited too. Yeah. <laughs> and Christopher needs some vitamin D. <laughs> yes, yes. We all, we, we all need a lot of vitamin D, which also uh, contributes to our mood. Yes. You know, definitely. to make it better. Yes. You know, at the beginning, you said uh, that you had some problems with your ovaries, yes. so you weren't sure if you were going to have children. No. And was that what? What did you have? I had polycystic ovaries. Uh huh. And, and what um, is that? Um, I sorry, I'm not I'm not sure how to describe it, but it, uh, it's um just when I was briefly. younger. Yes. I had um, problems getting my period, so I I would have it like maybe yearly so i had to um oh, okay. regulate it by taking Hormones. birth control pills birth control okay. yeah yes so at a young age i took okay. birth control pills to regulate my my periods and mm -hmm. um i i've done that all my pretty much all my life so um i wasn't sure if i could have oh, okay okay, okay. Children. Yeah. yeah and i i actually my, my sis burst in me uh, oh. when i was in 2011 mm -hmm. and it was right on top of my ovaries oh wow. so but but i asked the doctor because i was so scared i'm like can i still have children and he said yes but um my doctor my family doctor said it would be a miracle if you have children mm -hmm. and it was a miracle wow. so, like, <laughs> twice <laughs> i always feel like naming uh, children who are miracles like miracle yes <laughs> 
I do. I I did when I thought I had a girl. Yeah. I was gonna name her Miracle, but <laughs> yeah. my my siblings they were like laughing at me. I'm like, what? It's nice. Miracle number one and Miracle yeah. number two. She's got two children. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I decided on other names. Yeah. <laughs> And your book, I'm also interested uh, that you have a book. So what is the name of the book? It's um, I'm My Own Hero. I Am My Own Hero. Yeah. Wow, I like so that it's about, um, it's about a little boy who um, goes to, to school and they talk about heroes and he says, and he has cerebral palsy oh. and he has crutches and then everyone laughs because he's like, I'm my own hero. Yes. And they're like, how could you be, you know? Yes, yes, yes. So, you have to read the book and check it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, are, are you sending it out for? Uh, are you going to self-publish or are you going to send it to a publisher to see if they I'm accept not it? actually sure. I, I'm not sure uh, how how it goes. Yeah. So, um, I will. I I'm going to research how how to publish it and. Yeah, because yeah, there's you know you can do self-publishing. Yes. And and market it, but mm -hmm. and then you or you can send to a publisher. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm also like in that quandary because uh, yeah. I write poetry. Oh wow! Yeah, and I the first one I, I had a chat book which was uh, um, uh, called The Gift of Love, which mm -hmm. is uh, a little book with uh, about 15 poems, and I'm also writing another one. Uh, it's mostly done. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which way to go either. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was just curious. Yes. <laughs> We'll work together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, and Christine also has a YouTube channel where you can get more information about um, pregnancy and cerebral palsy, yes, right? So definitely. you want to tell us about your channel? Sure. Um, it's called Pregable, Pregnant and Disabled. Uh, my friend oh. came up with that. Thank you, Nadine. <laughs> um, so it's called Pregable. And then um, what I'm trying to do is build it to mama abled because now i'm not pregnant and disabled oh, wow. so it's okay. mama abled and i I've, I've had like i'm shirts done and um sweaters what? shirts and hoodies oh done with mama abled on on it oh yes. is that like, another business venture yes <laughs> i've all had a business oh, wow <laughs> yeah i tried so <laughs> i feel like a bum now <laughs> <laughs> he has so many things going on. <laughs> but, yeah. but, um, so if you look me up, it's called Preg Ables and Christine Lumalan, and then you could just subscribe. And yes, like, I will. Put, I will. We will put down yes. your uh, YouTube channel yes, underneath thank you so the much. description. Thank you. Yes. And uh, you're going to are you going to change the name, or are you going to get another YouTube channel? Um, From Pregable pre pre to Mama Abel. I I, uh, I use the same channel because okay. I like. I like looking at when yes. I was pregnant and disabled. See the so progress. I still, yes. Yes. Okay, so you're going to leave with the same name. Yes. But where are you going to put, oh, you're going to make t-shirts with that name. Yes. T-shirts. Mom um, Abled? Mama Abled. Mama Abled. Wow. Yes. Have you have, have you done that already? Yes. I, I've, I've created shirts and um, and hoodies. So wow. if you're interested, I'll, I'll post. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll write down the information about yes. how you can contact Christine, mm -hmm. uh, who, uh, which, the name of her YouTube channel, how you may be able to get these. Uh, yes, how you can contact her, basically. Yes. And I have a Facebook page called Pig Able Too, where um, the products of the shirts oh, okay. and sweaters are on it. Okay, okay. Yes. And do you have Instagram as well? Yes, I do. Okay, so and, we'll put all that inf information yes. down below, mm -hmm. uh, you yes. know, in our interview. Thank you. And uh, that's amazing, all the things that you've done and the things you've accomplished. Thank and, you, so uh, you know, you're very lively and uh, in a, a smile <laughs> very you. easily. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> And uh, well, you know, we always have to smile no matter yes. how we feel inside. Yes. You know, because it keeps us going. It's true. This um, this lady at church came up to me and she was crying and I was like, don't worry, I'm not in any pain. And she goes, no, I'm I'm just crying because you're, you're like always smiling. Oh. And, and she goes, but you're going through this having a disability, but I see you always smile, so it touches my heart. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, you know, so uh, I can totally relate to that. And I actually have a poem called My Smile oh, I that. <laughs> that I think that you will enjoy reading. Yeah, <laughs> it is about that, yes. you know, because uh, all of us, uh, and I also have a poem called uh, 
about we are wounded. That we are all wounded because we 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 are all wounded, but we have, we still have to get up yeah. every day and put a smile on our yeah, face. Definitely. So, like the two points, I think you would enjoy reading yes. them <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you know we have to work on ourselves yeah. uh, emotionally, spiritually. Mm -hmm psychologically and push ourselves to keep going yeah. and a smile not helps us only help not only help, helps us to feel better but also uh, impacts other people around us no matter even though we're in pain which is not to say that we neglect our feelings because we need to also acknowledge our feelings and our emotions but it also helps to smile and uh, uh -huh. to have uh, you know very positive attitude yes. which is what you have <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you so much. So who's your inspiration? Like, where do you get this positive um, attitude from? Um, I guess growing up, I've always been, been pretty positive. Uh, was there I, anybody that was a role model for you or anybody that had an influence on you? No. <laughs> well, my family, <laughs> I like, I loved my family. They're very close and, to your family. Yes, definitely. Yes, um, that helps. And they... I, I don't think I'd be the, who I am today if they didn't treat me like uh, I wasn't disabled. You right. know what I mean? I, I think I... They accepted you yes. for, you know, they didn't uh, treat you through a label. They no. treated you as a human being that they for loved. For sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes labels come in the way Yes. To for us to accept and treat people equally like, yeah. and with compassion. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, I think that's who... Uh, I became I became very independent and um, like I I don't see myself as disabled. I, I find like sometimes I forget it. <laughs> I forget that I have a cane or um, but um, are you still have a cane now when you walk. Yes, in? Oh, okay. I do. But I sometimes I use my um, my my son's strollers okay, as, yes. a, as a walker yes and yes. then i forget my cane yeah. everywhere <laughs> so, so um yeah pretty much um i use my cane like when i work mm -hmm. so, yeah. so it sounds like the love that you had from your family was uh yeah. you're very influential in your positive attitude definitely i yes, mean yes. if they if they treated me like i was fragile and disabled um I mean, uh, even though I am, um, then I would, I wouldn't think that I could do everything. Yes, that's you know true. I mean? That's true. Yeah. So they so. kind of um, allowed you to have your independence. Yeah, and I believe in myself because of that. Yes, yes, that's great. Yeah. Is there anything else uh, you'd like to say? We're uh, going to. Uh, we have a few more minutes, uh, but you know, feel free to uh, to uh, tell us anything more you'd like to tell sure. us. Sure. Um, I'm just telling all the mothers who are like worried about um if they're they make a good mother or even just mothers going through postpartum that um <laughs> to to know that you're doing a good job and don't <laughs> don't think anything else so um because i know how hard it is sorry <laughs> how hard it is to to have children and um and think that you know you're doing a bad job so um my friends and my family are are like my world and they they're the ones who actually support me in thinking that i do a good job yeah i mean uh, i have good <laughs> feelings and energy from you so thank i'm sure you. you're doing a great job <laughs> thank you so much. yeah my boys are are like the ones actually Helping me stay alive. Yes, you know. So your children are your raison d'être, as they say, your reason for <laughs> reason for living. Yes. And we all need that reason for living. We all need to find something that will keep us going. Yes, definitely. Thank yes. you. Yes, I remember reading a book called. Uh, it was uh, it was about hope actually. I can't remember the name, but it was stories about people's like different situations and the fact that they were holding on to hope. You know, it was yeah. a hope that kept them going. Oh, wow. That's yes. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so we all need to, you know, so we, you know, Christine and I are here to tell you to hold on to hope 
uh, grab something that will be your raison d'etre, reason for, for living, mm -hmm. whether it's to do volunteer work yes. or you want to get your songs out there yes. or your books out there, mm -hmm. you know, uh, or, or even like, you know, helping somebody in the community to provide companionship for an elderly. Um, you know, we all need to find ways to keep going because we are all, we're all valuable and we mm -hmm. contribute to the world in our own ways. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and if like, if ever you're struggling, um, feel free to contact me through email. <laughs> Great. So I'm going to give all, all, my, all yes. your information. Yeah. And uh, I really want to thank Christine for thank joining you. us thank for this interview. Thank you so interview. much for interviewing me. Well, thanks for taking <laughs> the time out. I really enjoyed this yes. interview. And uh, I hope uh, my viewers will enjoy this interview as well. And I really want to um, encourage everyone to share and join my, my uh, YouTube channel, share and, and subscribe to my channel. And you can let me know what kind of uh, material you would, you would like, because I also want to contribute to you, uh, to, to your world. My you know, blog is called Inspiring Bow, because I want to inspire others, because you know, we need to be there for each other. That's what that's what life is really all about. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day.